Right, so now we're at this stage where all our tiles have been painted. And as you can see, the first tile that we're going to be using is a completely painted one on all four of the panels. All the others, you've only painted three panels like that. So now it, what we're going to do is we're going to poke holes in it so we can start threading it. You can use whatever you can get your hands on. I've got a small wood burner which works perfectly well, but you can use the soldering iron or even a nail heated up in a candle. Whatever you can use, that will be fine, as long as it makes a wee hole in it. So now, when it comes time to doing the holes, you'll see on the panels, they've got like a ridge here and a ridge at the top. Now what I do is from the ridge, you're measuring half a centimeter in and half a centimeter from the corner. So you've got a wee square and that's where you're going to put your hole, just on that little tiny part there. So you've just got a little square thing, just put your hole through there. Also, it's a lot easier now when you squish it together like that and you just poke the hole straight through. So I'll show you what I mean. But here we go. So we've got half a centimetre in, half a centimetre in, and hopefully it's on hot enough. And it just goes straight through. I'm carrying on doing it like that. Half a centimetre in, half a centimetre. Don't worry about it if you get a little bit off. It's not that important. It's just to thread the wires through. So, the clear one's always just that little bit more difficult to see where. Now, for the first row, you do both sides. So, this side and this side. All the other rows, you only do the top one. You just do the top one so that when you put your tiles together, when the top one is like that, with the holes in, the next one is going to overlap like that. I'll just move the camera out just a wee bit so that you can see. So you've got the holes in this one here on the top. So when you put your next tile over, it covers all the holes, making it waterproof. So once your holes have been poked, you're going to thread a wire through the top and then you're going to put the cans in the bottom. For wiring our tiles together and to attach the cans, I'm using this wire pack. It comes in a 7mm and there's 75 meters of that. Hopefully that should be enough to cover my gazebo. So now when you're threading your cans onto your pieces of plastic, what you have to remember is your first plastic, depending on which side you're working from, has always got to be on the end because this one has got four panels painted and all the others have only got three panels painted, like, like that. So when, if you're working from right to left it'll be the first one on so then it can cover the clear one if you're working from left to right you have to flip the tile around that so that it covers the clear now i like to start in the middle of my wire so that when you need to pull the wire through you don't have such a long distance to pull through so you start threading from both sides so i'm going to show you how to do this now so i've got some of them started already so we've got a can just thread through the plastic and so on so now when it comes to joining the two pieces of plastic together because it's got to overlap, you've got to make sure that you're going through both holes. So you're through this one, and then you've got to go through the top one, and then pull the wire through. Only do the one side, because 
The double pans are a lot harder to pull through than the single ones. You've got your can threaded on, so it's like that. Now we're going to put the wire through the other side. That's it. Through here, and then we've got to pick up the plastic at the back so that it joins together. Try not go back through the other side on this one because it makes it very difficult to pull the can and plastics together and they do tend to tangle a little bit especially because you're working with such long wire so there we have it and now we just need to pull it pull it tighter so that it lies flat but you can see you get a bit of a loop there and just pull it straight so that it's tight now we're going to be going up to the other side. Now we're going, turning it over and going in through that hole over there. And just pull the wire through. Thread another can on. Right, next one on. Threading one through. But also make sure that you're threading it through the right way, which I just did wrong with that. So, we're going that way through so that it's going to lie flat on the plastic. Right. And as you can see, they seem to loop a little bit inside, so you just have to keep keep pulling them tight so that you've got a straight piece on the inside. And then all the others are easy to just thread through plastic on plastic. It's only the first way that's a bit. Now that you've got all your cans wired up to your plastic bottles, it's time to glue the cans down. I find if you put them in the rows in opposite directions, it's easy to just put a blob of glue on each side as you go along. So I'm using a product called Maxi Nails. All we have to do is just put a blob of glue under each of our cans and push them down and then put them aside to dry. Now that you've got all your bottles wired together, it comes to the next step. So what I've done is I've cut out some just some little little wires like that because what we're going to do is we're going to attach each layer to the next but now only on the tile that I've got the see-through one we're going to attach it to the bottom one now what I've done is I've put some cans underneath it just so that it can support when I actually put the hole in so I've got my little wood board down there again, which I'm going to just take, hold that steady and just poke a hole in. And take our little piece of wire and thread it through. and then just tie it closed on the other side. So that will give you your waterproof covering. If you're a bit worried that it's not going to be waterproof, just put a blob of silicon on there, but you see the top layer covers it quite nicely now. So now you just continue and do all of the see-through ones, the ones that haven't got any paint on it, only attach those ones to the bottom one. So now I've flipped it over, and then we're just going to tighten the wire. Once you've secured the wire, just turn it underneath the wire on the other ends. Right, so now we've come to the apex. It's a little bit more complicated than the ordinary, just threading it all through. You're going to have to excuse the camera work because I'm trying to show you this by filming holding it. So now, as you can see, the apex goes up 
like that if I take these ones off. You'll see I've taken the piece of material that goes on the top of it and I'm using that as a template. Now when it goes up the sides, half of it is cut off so it doesn't have anything to attach to. So the first row of my top piece of the apex I've got double wires in it so that I can attach to that. When it comes to the next row you'll see that I've had to take the one piece that's got three panels on so I've got a solid piece on the side over there because all of that's going to get cut off so we need to have something to join it. Now because on the side here we're going to be having cappings on it you can actually attach it just there. Moving on to the other side I've taken a solid piece which has got all four panels on it and placed it over there because all of that is going to be cut off as well. Once again you can attach it just on the corner and because it's not quite two panels I have to put something in the middle. So what I've done is I've taken just two pieces like that so, and I can just place it on top. So when I cut these off on the sides everything is going to have a place for an attachment. <clears throat> Sorry, now for the very top I'm going to actually use pieces that I've cut up for the simple reason is that I want to have them attached. So this one I can attach underneath it but still have my waterproof covering on the top and the same with the other side. So we've got the two pieces that go like that and then the centre piece that will give you the waterproof covering. Right, so now as you can see everything has been attached and it's all been trimmed down to fit the apex. I've actually cut it about a centimetre bigger than what the piece of material is because the material seems to stretch over the top so I didn't want it to be a bit short but as you can see on the corners here it's attached so it's not going to go anywhere so all the corners have been attached like that so those little parts that we've attached on the corners here you'll have to put silicon on but it's not going to make that much difference because once the capping goes over it covers it all so this is the capping that we're going to be making that is going to go over the corners and we're going to paint it black and then silicone it all down. So it should give us a waterproof covering all the way around the sides. So what I've done now is I've just put a blob of silicone onto the main beams and then wired it all across. So they go right across from side to side, like 15 centimeter all the way around so it looks like a spider web. And then we start attaching the little roof pieces like this. So where you've wired them you take the wires and then you just attach it to the main support on each side. And as you can see where we've had to join here so that they don't fit in the wind they will all be covered by the capping. So now just so that we get the right measurements and things like that we've spray painted our decorative piece that's going to go on the top. I've cut a PVC pipe into 15 centimeters long and we're going to put it into the top. Now what I've done is I've just taken a plastic bottle, cut little strips around it so it actually fits over the attachment. The pipe will just slide in like that so that it holds it and our ball will then get placed on the top. I'm not gluing it in at the moment because I'm just using it to know how far and wide that I want the roofing to go. Right so I've measured it and everything is fitting quite well. Now we're going to put the wires on. On the back of your piece you've got all the wires that go along like this. Now along each wire on each tile I'm going to take a wee piece of wire like this which is about hmm, four centimeters and you're just going to make it into a little s like that 
we're going to hook it on, tighten it, and then the other little piece of hook that we've got underneath it, here, we're going to attach to these wires that we've got running along the whole gazebo. So we're going to have to do a few hundred little hooks like that to put on each tile so that it secures to our wires that run all the way up the whole frame. So what I've done now is I've just cut out the shape that I need for the one side and I'm going to take it off and I'm going to cut the others exactly the same. When you're poking your holes into your tiles, leave at least 40 of them because when it comes to the apex, this is where that comes in handy because you can use the tile in whatever position that you want, if it's on the left hand side or if it's the right hand side. Whereas if you've put the holes in, you can only use it in one direction. So now we've got the roofing on the floor, now we're going to cut the others exactly the same.